what a strike! How far out was he to find the right-hand corner? That defies belief. Coming up, another look at it, Alan. That will show us something. They've made it 5 0. Goal for Leeds United in the 48th minute, number seven, Gleason. Right in quickly to try and win the ball back. And the referee Ian Lowcroft has got to step in now for the moment. Donaldson. Aiden White. He had a chance to keep the ball in play, but he hasn't been able to do that. Sharply done to restart it here. Well, that's widened the game here, and they've got it to the wide man well. Paul Cadiz. And the ball's passed to Alan Smith. Tesh, Aiden White, David Cotter, and the foul called against Leeds United, and he's got on the score sheet, hasn't he? And now he's getting off the pitch. Well, it's a side foot from an awfully long way out, but he did get a fair bit of power in placing it to the right. Two goals, a forward that's made a big contribution to the game, and they're just going to rest him for the last few minutes as the replacement comes on. Yeah, it happens a bit more these days, doesn't it? Players on two getting withdrawn normally. The day's gone by, you would keep him on for the hat trick, but uh, he's contributed more than his fair share. And that uh, the flag is up, it has gone out off the player. Sliding in and uh, getting the ball, it's a good example, we can see it again here. Yeah, you don't see enough of it, I think players are discouraged from doing it because they usually get booked. Goal news from Cardiff. It's a second goal for Middlesbrough. 61 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Still on the attack, and they've got a corner. Good tackle from my money, Alan. What about yours? Well, he had to get it right, and, and it was as clean as a whisker. because the goalkeeper's caught it, danger's gone. Paul Cadiz. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Alan Smith can crop up anywhere. That was an easy decision for the assistant, it's offside, he's gone too early. Can be a match winner, this lad, but today, no. And it was one of his lesser performances. I think it's a bit hard on him that the supporters seem to be happy to see him coming off. Yeah, that's the life of a winger sometimes. You are dependent on your service and obviously dependent on what you do with the ball. And He's not been clever enough in possession today. Milner. Nicely uh, done to keep on his feet and not just go to ground and hope he might get a free kick. 
plays the ball in. Dealt with by the defender, the cross. He's being challenged now. And Alan Smith controls it. He can cross it now. Murphy. Shot doesn't get very far, blocked away. And Smith. And it goes for goal. The goal stands. I don't know how much longer he can go on like this with this 100% record. What a day he's having. Everything he shoots at ends up in the back of the net. Yeah, talk about the Midas touch. He's got to enjoy it while it lasts. Well, it was a marvellous finish, Martin. He's in the right place at the right time there. Wonderful goal. Well, this is one-way traffic. Well, these supporters were pretty confident talking to some of them as we came into the ground, expecting their team to win, and it's got that feel to it, hasn't it? Oh, it has, and I think they'll be pleased with the way that their team has performed out there. They've, they've looked dominant, they've looked confident, and the result doesn't look in doubt. Robert Tesh. Donalds. Substitute coming up for the away team. Bianchi. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Well, he's on the attack and he's got plenty of options from his teammates. For White. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. And it's a header. It's a goal from the header. Well, the keeper's not far away, but it was a really good, powerful header, that one. Good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. One of the most one-sided games that I've ever seen. David Cotterill. Goal news involving Huddersfield. It's the second goal for Fulham. 79 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Now it's a corner. Substitution taking place. Different angle on the goal here. Number 28. Yeah, and I think he meant that. He, he, he's seen that gap to the right and he's found it with a, with a really good header. We're going to have this substitution. It is the central defender who's being replaced. And I think some of the crowd are happy to see him being taken off. Yeah, I think so. Maybe his central defensive partner is pretty pleased as well because they didn't look a team at all. something of a dying art amongst players these days the ability to use the neck muscles like that great header let's see the replay now has turned into an absolute rout. Gleeson. Gray. And quickly back to his feet. 
And it's going to be his throw here. Alan Smith. That's very well read, and that's a very good interception. Well, we've only got seven minutes remaining now. Smith. And in goes the cross. Clearing their lines from the cross. That's a very crisp challenge there. Murphy. For White. Murphy. It'll be an extra five minutes at any time. Oh, a muscle's gone there. Well, he saved it, and he's kept it as well. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. Here, the challenge is a good one. Gray. Levantesh. And they've got the ball back through a very good interception. Goalkeeper makes the save, and it's a clean save, too. Doesn't drop the ball. And that is the final whistle. It's all over, and Leeds have won. You enjoyed your trip to our stadium. Thanks for coming. Have a safe Big smiles at night. the final whistle, and rightly so. Yeah, I think so. They were by far the better team out there and never looked in danger. Well, there was really only one team in that game and their fans will be travelling home delighted with their big victory. I'll leave you with the full match highlights and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. Oh, that's a fantastic goal! That's a very good goal. Robbie Keane. goal that's a brilliant goal it's a goal